Hey there, beautiful people. I'm Alex Solomis. This is my YouTube channel dedicated only to Eurovision. Now, Italy was one of my favorite entries of 2023. And um, to be honest, uh, it's a country that I always love to hear their entries. And uh, with some exceptions in the middle, uh, they, are, they become always to, to, to be one of my favorites in the very end. Even though if I don't like it or understand it very well uh, at the first hearing. But Marco Mengoni definitely nailed with Due Vite. I know that he has been in 2013 in Eurovision as well with Licenziale. So I don't know this song. I didn't watch the, the show in 2013, but I will do it now. So with no further delays, Marco Mengoni with Licenziale. I don't know which country was the host this year. Can you help me out? Oh, little suits. Very casual. Not like this year. E nel silenzio mio annullo ogni tuo singolo dolore Different haircuts as well Quello che non ho saputo Another ballad E mentre il mondo cade a pezzi Io compongo nuovi Italy is a, a ballad machine maker so I love it because of that. I'm a bad lover. Italian is a, a very beautiful language as well. Sexy, poetic. Like a balm to the ears, you know. Let's grow, Marco. Let's grow. Come on. Ten years younger. Has a very nice figure. Song is growing now. Ooh, Turkish flag. Miss Turkey in Eurovision. Oh, I was, I was expecting a high note now, but maybe he will keep that to the very end. I don't know. Grazie Europa, thank you Europe and thank you Marco Mengoni. Well, I believe this was a very safe entry if you want to compare it to this year 2023, Due Vite, when he could explore a lot more his vocals this year and it's um, a powerful ballad if you compare Due Vite with his Letenziale. I have no idea the rating of this song in the very end. Can you write me on the comments below so I can know? 
but it's very touching, it's very sweet and uh, it's a song that I like a lot uh, I prefer Dio Evite, to be honest, but um, his vocals were flawless, he was very good not so nervous like he was this year, in the very end he almost cried and was breathless with that final note, with those final notes, and it was very beautiful, very emotional, very sensitive. And uh, as I said, Italian is such a beautiful language, I love it. So, do you love it? Write in the comments below, I want to know your thoughts about L'Essenziale of Marco Mengoni. And uh, it's nice that we can create some interaction here, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you so much for being there. And if you want me to react to your favorite ever entry of Eurovision, write in the comments below. I would be gladly uh, doing that for you. And uh, thank you so much for being there. I hope to see you. Yeah, you over there. Don't forget to see my reaction video to Do a Vito of Marco Mengoni and all the reactions reactions, sorry, uh, of the contest of 2023. So check my playlist. I have plenty for you. If you like my uh, reaction videos, so take care and bye-bye.